Hi there. Today I wanted to share with you some tips about my RStudio project workflow. You wouldn't normally see me use these techniques because most of the time I have the project already open when I give a presentation. But I use these techniques again and again and again throughout the day and they save me a bunch of time. Now I worked on, I developed these because a couple of years ago I noticed that most of the files that I opened were either Keynote files or RStudio projects. And it was worth tweaking my workflow a little bit to figure out how to open these files as efficiently as possible. So the way I open these files is with Alfred. Alfred is a file launcher, sort of a general productivity tool. It's available only for the Mac, but there are plenty of other op op options available for other op operating systems. So to use a program like Alfred, you press a keyboard shortcut, mine is control space, and it's gonna pop up a launcher. So launch is much like a command line, it just sits there with a blinking cursor staring at you, but you can type a few letters. Here I'm typing tidier, press enter, and that's gonna open up the tidier project. So again, uh, if I wanna open dplyr, for example, I just have to take the first few letters, it doesn't matter where this file lives, press enter, and that's gonna pop open. Then when I've got a bunch of projects open, what I'm going to do during the day is, so I'm going to, let's open, uh, let's open advanced R, that's something else I'm working on at the moment. When I open that, if I'm toggling between projects, I'm going to use command tab to quickly navigate between these projects. So how did I set this up? Well, if I open up uh, Alfred again, and I use the keyboard shortcut to open up the preferences pane. There's this advanced pane which allows me, I've dragged in keynote presentations and RStudio projects, which unfortunately have this uh, not a great name currently. And that means that Alfred will automatically index all of those files regardless of where they live on my computer. So maybe, maybe this workflow is only a small improvement over your existing workflow for open files, but I think for something like this that you're doing again and again and again and again throughout the day, uh, I think it can be worth investing, even if the payoff individually is so small, because you're going to do this so many times.